This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight, a heated debate over the future of bilingual education, and it could lead to major changes for thousands of New York City school children. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. And I'm Diana Williams. The mayor's task force says parents of bilingual children should have a new option. That option is called Immersion, a program in which non-English speaking children would be di put directly into English only classes. Bilingual education is a difficult emotional issue. Celeste Ford is here now with the story. Celeste. Bill, today we saw the start of the city's latest bilingual battle. The head of a mayoral task force wants to shake up the status quo by giving parents the option of placing their children in regular English-only classes, a practice known as immersion. Opponents say something has to be done to fix bilingual, but it's not immersion. The public hearing included many of the key voices in the bilingual debate. This man, Ron Unce, is the most controversial. The businessman led the campaign that ended bilingual education in California. There has never been a single case in the United States in the last 30 years anywhere in America of an example of a large-scale successful bilingual program. Unce, who was heckled by the crowd, says test scores show that immersion worked. He was invited to attend this hearing by the head of the mayor's bilingual task force, Randy Mastro, who's lobbying to make immersion an option for students in New York City. By doing that, we empower the parents and the children. And to me, this is, uh, should be an uncontroversial proposition. But it is controversial because roughly one out of every six students is enrolled in bilingual education, and by all accounts, the costly programs aren't working. This morning, a Board of Ed spokesman testified that only half the students master English within three years, as required by state law. Away from the hearing, the mayor weighed in, suggesting bilingual education be limited to only two years. The purpose of it being to teach you English, not, you know, 10, 12 years in school in a foreign language. The mayor would not comment on immersion. Same for schools Chancellor Levy, a member of the task force. But this leader of the opposition said the proposal is loaded with racial and political overtones. Because I think it scored points with that element of our population that's more conservative and that actually fear Latinos. They fear Latinos and they see bilingual programs as something that is empowering Latinos. Then there are the bilingual students who say the immersion option is unrealistic. It's going to be so difficult. And probably those students are going to fail the classes. They'll fail their classes. Yes. Compare that to the mother who demanded English-only classes for her son. If I put my son in a regular class and it worked for my son, I'm happy with that. This is far from a done deal. The task force recommendations expected by the end of the month would need some Board of Ed approvals. But with a green light, English-only immersion could be an option for immigrant children as early as next September. Bill, Diana? Celeste, thanks very much. Thank you, Celeste.